Hello, I'm Darren Robertson. I'm gonna kick off another edition of Delicious Bake Club. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my strawberry and almond tart with a fennel jam. Trust me, this is a flavor combo that actually works. All right, so step one, we're gonna make a sweet pastry. So, very simple, that easy. Flour into our mixer, butter, a little pinch of salt. I'm going to flavor this um, with a little bit of orange zest. You can use whatever you like, lemon, lime. So pop in the sugar, a bit of icing. See if I can work this thing. <laughs> cool, that should do you. So it's kind of what you're after. So just little fine breadcrumbs. All the butter is incorporated. Next, I'll add some egg and uh, just a splash of water. And I'll give that another blast just to bring it together. She's looking cool, maybe a touch dry. Next, I'm gonna empty it out to a bench and then just bring it together with our hands. So that's what you're after. So it's nice and smooth. You don't want to start kneading it. You don't want to kind of overwork it. You want the pastry to be nice and short. I'm just going to roll it out so it's a bit thinner so it'll rest quicker. So 25, 30 minutes is ideal. Um, and then we'll crack on with the next step. Okay, next we're going to make our fennel jam. Now, you've just got to trust me on this. Fennel and strawberries go really well together. So, you know, give it a go. So with the fennel, I'm going to cut this fairly thinly actually. So it cooks quicker. I'll pop our sugar in. Wind in a little bit of orange zest. A little bit of juice, you want some liquid to, uh, to let down that sugar. You don't want it to, you don't want it to caramelize. I usually bring this up to the boil first and just make sure the liquid and the sugar is all mixed in. I'm just gonna add some roasted fennel seeds and then I'll pop in our thinly sliced fennel. It looks like quite a lot, but it, it will cook down and the juices will come out of the fennel. Um, it's gonna take about half an hour. So keep your eye on it, give it a stir now and again. I just wanna mention just a, li a little tip so I added a splash more water just to, just to cook out uh, your fennel. Um, and also, I, I like to just make sure your e the edges of your pan are kept nice and clean. Otherwise, what can happen is you'll get sugar up the side and it will start to cook out and then drop back in the jam and it will, it will crystallize your jam. So you get these little lumps of sugar, which isn't the end of the world, but I think it's nice if it's just um, transparent and smooth. Now I'll set that aside now. All right, so our pastry is now chilled. Pop a little bit of flour on our surface. I want to roll this out to about four or five millimeters. It's going to drop this like that. And then next you just want to kind of carefully and quickly prise the sides up and push them into the corners. Any little cracks and holes and, and nicks are, are going to become amplified after you cook it. So you want to kind of just do little repair jobs as you go. Get our pin, roll them over the top. Put away our excess pastry. Squeeze them into the side there so you get this beautiful finish. So we'll pop this in the fridge now um, and chill it down again. If I was to blind bake this now because it's a little bit warm, it would definitely want to shrink. So to prevent that, we'll cool them down. Whilst our tart base is resting, next we're going to make our frangipan. Some butter, add some sugar. Then we want to beat this for a few minutes and we, we kind of want to wick it up. We want to cream our sugar and our butter and just and, and aerate it. So I'm just going to um, just scrape down the sides like so. And just keep going, like it's starting to lighten up, but it's still not white. So we'll keep on rocking. That's looking pretty good, so it's nice and pale and, and aerated. I'm gonna flavor it with some vanilla, so just scrape out our seeds. Next up, we're gonna, we're gonna add our flour to our almond milk, which will sort of stabilize our frangipan. And really what we wanna do now is wanna slowly incorporate our eggs. So what I like to do is I like to firstly just give our eggs a little whisk, so that will allow you to add them a little bit slower. So there's our flour and almond milk. Let's give that a little bit of a mix. So next, I'm gonna add the egg to the butter, sugar, and vanilla mix. I like to just add a little, like a, a couple of spoons of flour or the almond milk. It just makes it harder to split. So it's getting this, that's about halfway. And again, I'll just, um, I'll just scrape down these sides. So that's taken us about four or five minutes. So it's beautiful and light and aerated. You can see the specks of vanilla. And now I'm just gonna take it off and fold in the rest of our almond flour mix. Our tart's nice and chilled now. It's at about 25 minutes, half an hour in the fridge. Um, we're going to blind bake this. Now, blind baking, and I know, you know some people are a little bit scared of it, but it's, it's a great way for, for taking the fear out of baking and certainly the unknown. So you, obviously, you need your tart. You need a little bit of um, baking paper and something to weigh it down. All right, so that's ready to bake now. So we're going to pop that in the oven, 200 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay, so this has had about 15 minutes in the oven. Remove that. So we're going to pop this in the oven now at 200 degrees and carry on cooking for another 10 minutes. 
Uh, all right, so all our components are ready. Now we're going to assemble our strawberry and almond tart. So first of all, we're going to take our jam. I'll just spread this out. So there's our jam. To me, normally, if I was at home, I'd probably get the kids involved at this stage and just make loads and loads of mess. Um, there's no knife work, it's just assembling. Next, we're going to add our frangipan. Just to make it easier to assemble your fruit, it's nice to kind of spread it fairly evenly. Next, we have our fruit. So in our case, um, strawberries. Then we're just going to arrange these in a little circle. Strawberries are on. Next up, we're going to have uh, some more of our toasted fennel seeds. And then finally, we have uh, just some fresh thyme here. All right, so there you go. There's our strawberries, our thyme, our fennel seeds on the frangipan and the jam. All we need to do now is cook the thing. Um, to check whether it's cooked, I'm just going to pop the skewer inside. If it comes out clean, as with making a sponge, she's ready to go. So there's our strawberry, almonds, and fennel tart. It's cooked. I'm very happy with that, actually. I'm going to garnish it with some honey, just a little bit of honey over the top, just to give it a little bit of stickiness. And then I'm just going to garnish it with some fresh herbs. So I've got our fronds from the tips of our fennel. Don't go crazy. It's not a salad. It's a, you know, it's a tart. It's dessert. Um, some, just some fresh. We've got this beautiful thyme, so a little bit more fresh thyme. So there it is. There's my strawberry, almond, and fennel tarts. Check out the delicious website for all the details on how you can get amongst it. I'll be checking out all your pics, so good luck.